crazy. Those and I. And I, I want to give you a little bit of the background. It was soon after your surgery, and there was a lot of concern and wait. There, countless, countless hours. And he said to me, you know, through the surgery, Rose took her ring off and I'd like to put it on again. He said, one day, could you pray for that and we would do that? So I said, of course, of course. But it's, it's not something that let's say in the midst of the divine service, we do like an anniversary or baptism or something of that nature, right? And I said, we can go in the Sabbath day. We're not going in the Sabbath day. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a beautiful, beautiful testimony of your support for those of the way that we're here to be a part of this. Well, you know, when we said you can't see it, or you can feel it, you, we, we spoke about that. But you know, it's, it's miraculous in so many ways, but also just the purity of heart, the childlike faith that you both demonstrated, the simplest of tasks to just say, I want to put this ring on my sweetheart's hand again. So pure and so simple and so beautiful at the same time. So, there's not a lot of words that we can say other than we're all so thankful and privileged that we could pray for you and that we could share this stuff. So, I guess it would be can you, can you stand up? Would you like to stand right here? But I think you need to face each other so that all your friends who came, you won't have your family who came, can witness this. And if you'd like to say something to your dear wife before you put the ring on your finger, or Rose, you know, you. I just love this ring. When I went in surgery, I knew I was coming back. I knew the prayer was going to be there. I know your love was there. And even saying it, you know, it's all your fault, not here. <laughs> it's a good reason, because you have faith in me, and in a way you look up to me, and I look at myself and I say, why would you look up to me? You know, I'm just throws I get up in the morning like everybody else. I put my clothes on like everybody else. I love God like everybody else. But maybe he picked me for a reason. And that will, that will be revealed to me. I learned how to be more patient than four years waiting on the list. I learned that patient, but I was another kind of patient that I could And having this man by my side has been a lot of me. I want to train you for that. But I'm glad he didn't train me anymore. I tell a lot of people that I went to the hospital for five months. I was in an auto shop. Three months. And he's been trying to be to take it easy for the end time, but you have to rush. You'll get there when you get there. And for that, I'm honest with you. Because we're not going to be together. We're together with you. Healthcare-wise, in 
natural sense we were giving it that sense. Can you break this out, please? So, how is it? That's why I love it. I love it. Those who couldn't be here tonight, those who couldn't understand. But that's one of the better really, because we as a congregation were a part of the miracle. It wasn't a miracle just for those who are just a miracle for me. We all were a part of this wonderful, wonderful thing. And why is it? I don't know. We don't deserve it. If I look at all the sins of our past, I put our own world first critics, you know. God granted grace and your prayer for the touch this heart. And I said, That's what I wanted to ask God for a blessing and I said, This is the time to pray before I pray for him. Right. <laughs> 